When I was a little kid, I wanted to be everything. I wanted to be a firewoman. I wanted to be a pitcher on the Detroit Tigers baseball team. But my biggest goal was to be a large animal veterinarian. And I found out that that wasn't so glamorous. I'm Lisa Sedler, and I'm the founder and CEO of Green Zebra Grocery. Think of Green Zebra Grocery as the love child of Whole Foods Market and 7-Eleven, where health meets convenience. I got to be where I am today through grit and determination, like most every entrepreneur. It really comes down to having a big vision and being ready to just chase after it. It's kind of hard sometimes as an entrepreneur to think of yourself um, as successful when you're still struggling so much every day. There were probably a million failures before I got to this point. But really at the end of the day, it comes to just grinding out the work and believing in your vision and doing anything it takes to get there. I saw a lot of uh, creative retail strategies being applied in other industries, uh, but none applied to the area that I was most passionate about, the outdoors. I'm Rob Little, I'm the founder and CEO of Cairn. Cairn's a community of active adventures that we connect and inspire through product and ideas. When we started Cairn, uh, I thought that it would be uh, sort of a quiet and uh, lonely process to build a business, and I was proven very quickly that's not the case, as uh, uh, there are a lot of people who have been over backwards to help this business and to help see it grow. We retain the entrepreneurial spirit in our company by hiring good people, um, setting big and audacious goals, and letting them decide how best to achieve them. The best part about being an entrepreneur is uh, not thinking about what I'm going to do next in my career, as it's exciting and uh, completely consuming to focus on building the business that I've created. We're pretty excited to take our passion for whiskey uh, and go out there and share our passion for whiskey uh, with the world and hope that there were other people that were passionate about it and wanted to customize and create something of their own and, and experiment with a tool that hadn't been out there for them to use before. My name is David Jackson, I'm the current CEO for Time and Oak, a local company that came up with a product called the Whiskey Element. Uh, what the Whiskey Element is, is essentially the exact same wood we've been making whiskey barrels out of for hundreds of years, but we redesigned the barrel to go into the bottle. So literally you should have purchased your favorite bottle and go ahead and continue to age it right in the bottle. What I love about what I get to do every day is essentially you kind of get to go against the grain and that here, here's some idea or here is a challenge. This, it's either a new product that hasn't been brought to market before or you, you have a product that you think is better than someone else's and you have to go out there and kind of prove it. We drink a lot of whiskey at the office. I mean, we get to, that's quality control. It's part of the job. I mean, you, you get to bring your passion to work. You know, my advice for entrepreneurs would be, if you have an idea, uh, chase it. Uh, don't let the unknown component of starting a business scare you away from it. Every single thing that you do is a learning opportunity, and there's, I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. I mean, I've done so many things that were wrong, and then I thought, oh, I'm really glad I did that because I learned from that, and I gained this from that. When you're being honest and you're doing the right thing, and you have integrity in your product, someone tells you they don't like it, you have to be able to say, that's all right, we love it. 